After discovering a massive crack in the Antarctic ice shelf Larsen C, scientists say that it will soon give away, becoming one of the largest icebergs on the planet. In fact, it might be an iceberg twice the size of the smallest European country. Experts from the UK say that the crack is now as wide as the Shard, a 95-storey skyscraper in Southwark, London, that forms part of the London Bridge Quarter development. Standing 309.6 metres, 1,016 feet, high. This is really bad news. Larsen C is the fourth largest ice shelf in Antarctica and according to reports from Nature, since early this year, its crack has moved at least 10 kilometers more. Currently, the crack is already 175 kilometers long. When the iceberg finally separates from the ice shelf, it will be one of the largest ever recorded, although it is difficult to predict when it will happen. Scientists from the British Antarctic Survey BAS, are involved in a long-term research program to monitor ice shelves in order to understand the causes and implications of the rapid changes observed in the region. The new photographs were collected as experts flew over the ice shelf on their way to pick up science equipment on the ground. According to scientists, it's a matter of months before it reaches the ocean, releasing into the Weddell Sea. The bad news that it will become an iceberg twice the site of Luxembourg. So what caused it to break? Scientists believe that the main reason for the crack in Larsen Sea is global warming. According to Eric Reignot, a glaciologist at the University of California, Irvine, the Larsen Sea crack has up to a factor of 8. Dr. Paul Holland, ice and ocean modeler at British Antarctic Survey, BAS, said in a statement, Iceberg calving is a normal part of the glacier life cycle, and there is every chance that, the rest of, Larsen C will remain stable and this ice will regrow. However, it is also possible that this iceberg calving will leave Larsen C in an unstable configuration. If that happens, further iceberg calving could cause a retreat of Larsen C. We won't be able to tell whether Larsen C is unstable until the iceberg has calved and we are able to understand the behavior of the remaining ice. 